Come on, chum, let's go. Morning, everyone. Bright sunny start. Beautiful day. And those um, those pesky scientists have been up to it again. Um, I lost count how many times I've talked about scientists and what scientists are saying in uh, in these morning wee words. But um, anyway, they've been up to it again. This time, um, these pesky scientists they live in uh, in Australia. Uh, they are scientists from the University of Western Australia, which uh, is based in a place called Perth. Um, and they're saying that uh, young children who frequently interact with both family members, and this is the important bit, and their pet dogs are much less likely to be naughty and uncooperative. Now, I don't want to argue with these scientists. But I'm not so sure about that. I mean, I was brought up with dogs. Um, some of you know I was brought up with uh, with Labradors, with black Labradors, licorice flavoured Labradors. Um, the uh, the proper Labrador, the only Labrador, at least as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I was brought up with them, and I wouldn't have said that spending time with family members and pet dogs made me particularly less naughty or more cooperative. But, um, you know, maybe things have changed over the years. Anyway, um, these scientists, they compared um, 1,600 children under the age of five, who uh, some who came from uh, dog-owning families and those without, and they asked their parents about their behaviour. And as I say, the results showed um, that enjoying a dog walk with parents or, or with their brothers or sisters um, at least once a week those children were 30% less likely to be naughty and disruptive. Um, here's the quote that I've written down. Her dogs help children learn about responsibility and unconditional love and loyalty. They promote trust and empathy. Right, I'm going to take my tongue out my cheek and I'm going to say that that bit I certainly believe, but not just for children. Um, this animal that we're looking at here um, and his predecessor, uh, whose name was Connor, and uh, and the other ones who came before that, all the way back to Kerry, uh, the first dog that I ever remember um, as a child, through the two Ryans, Kirk and Owen. Um, they have all played a significant part in my in my life, and I realise as I get older, in my um, my mental well-being, my physical well-being, um, and they certainly help me, have helped me um, to learn about responsibility, uh, to learn about unconditional love and loyalty. Um, we have a little plaque at home that says, be the dog, be the person your dog thinks you are. Um, how often I wish I could be that person. Um, and they've certainly helped me to um, learn about trust and about empathy, all from having a dog, and I'm sure it's true of other pets as well. So there you are. Oh, look at him eating grass. Come on, Brewer. Honestly. Honestly. It's uh, Tuesday, everyone. Busy Tuesday for me. A couple of meetings, including uh, a Zoom session meeting at St Leonard's tonight. Uh, looking forward to seeing elders today. So, whatever you're up to today, whatever you have planned, whatever it holds for you, have a good one, everyone. Um, get out there, show some unconditional love and be the person that uh, your dog, my dog, thinks you are. Take care. God bless. Keep well. <laughs>